What's going on YouTube? It's Marco YT back with another video of Monster Carnival. Well yeah, I just wanna have to show you this new thing. Um it's about developing a Pokemon that you can just see in the early maps. The Pokemons I know that are you know Eligible for that are these Muck for it. You can also go with um, Psyduck Golem Machamp. I just realized that, um, yeah, there's a lot of people in the game right now who are doing this strategy. It's actually best to you know do this to strengthen your team it's because you can increase the star level of the pokemon right away by just hunting this type of pokemon look at my mock i've been hunting this for about i think i started two days two days ago and i'm in four star right now the next thing actually in mock in hunting mock you'll get the chance to hunt for it as well because it's in route 33 so you can see here for it and mock there are times that both are available so I get a chance to catch both while hunting this is their new giveaway Volcanion shard it's I know it's a new legendary Pokemon I'm actually not building up my team like not leveling them up right now I am stuck with doing the adventure quest of the Volcanion shards so I don't care if I left uh, if I get left behind but I'm just trying to you know get past the team rocket to proceed with the next area in the gym because the, the, the further you proceed, I think the, the more Pokemon you'll be able to encounter. So yeah, with these uh, legendary things, uh, legendary Pokemon that I have here, um, I can't build them up yet. I have to build up my those Pokemon that I will be able to see right away. So my Muck is almost 6 stars, still uh, going 5, my Executor. Going for so pretty much. Um, if I'll be able to pull this out, it will help me in my future trainer challenges because um, I just realized that having full supreme Pokemon requires a big responsibility. Like you know, if you if you want to have full supreme Pokemon, you have to spend a lot more money in order to strengthen them up like for example Lugia ho -Oh, Grodon those Pokemons um, they will really require you to load up buy some gems and go with the Gachapon good thing for the legendary birds and legendary dogs because they can just be seen in the maps but I don't know how this game progress you know maybe in other maps or if there's another region here where they will be able to see Lugia and other legendary Pokemon and that would be great especially with Mewtwo Mewtwo is very strong for me but the thing is you can't farm Mewtwo shards well I'm sorry you can farm Mewtwo shards using the the adventure the adventure dungeon there's a dungeon for hunting stars but it will just give you at least one or two because you have to challenge all maybe three poke three of the same type pokemon same grade same same star and beat them before you can get their shards so You'll be stuck with one or two shards per day, and that will take you 
long to build up your legendary Pokemon or your supreme type Pokemon so yeah if you deal with supreme Pokemon I would suggest doing the legendary birds legendary dogs or the uh, the Regis Reggie Ice Reggie Rock and Reggie Steel this is how I deal with my combat I mean my my I mean the, the reward I get from the arena and I'm saving up this one so that I can buy the supreme item hopefully that helps because um, there's a percentage of the item that you'll be able to get like for example if your item is for ghost type it will increase the damage by 15% I think so that will be a great help for your attacks the good thing with Mach Mach is um, there's a skill to minimize that would increase his evasion rate and it gives plus 2 as you can see here that's my gold duck shards I mean side duck shards matchup abra The thing here is, with Psyduck, I'm still looking for a decent trade, Pokemon trade. You will also base the trade on the moveset of the Pokemon. So going back with my Mock, the best thing about Mock is the minimize attack, I mean the minimize buff, because it will increase the evasion rate. Doing three times of minimize will max your evasion rate, and by that, after doing max evasion rate, you can just go with the attacking part, like doing gunk shots, sludge, or mud, mud bomb. I think you can just do that. By doing that, you'll be able to kill the Pokemon without getting hit. That's the concept there. So yeah. So in this part, yes, this this one, Star Pokemon, that's where you can farm the the said uh, what I'm sa saying earlier. This one, the shards. All right, um, let's talk about Ferret. Actually, I was able to encounter a trainer that has Ferret maxed out in ladder matches, and what I noticed is they're using Coil to buff up the Ferret. So like, coil up, coil up, coil up, and when they reach low HP, they will just rest. And then, if they get lucky, Ferret will be back to normal again. To, I mean, Ferret, Ferret will be awakened and restack with the coil until maxed out. And then, it will just, I think, one hit you, your Pokemon, depending on the star level of your Pokemon but for it at max star even at level 40 plus is very dangerous so you know you got to be cautious and yeah you know, i'm just flowing with a new bandwagon here so i think this will be all for now thank you for watching and peace out bye